بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی یسر ولا تو اسر و تمیم بلحی ربی زدن علما السلام علیکم hope you all are good this is the D3 updated 7th edition and today we will do exercise 10c let's start so this is the exercise 10c question number 1 the diagram illustrate how the length AB which cannot be made directly this is the length AB these questions are very simple only we have to understand it uh, when we understand the concept of this question we can solve it very easily and this is the length AB which we cannot be measured directly uh, of a point is measured choose a point C this is a point C and measure the length AC we have to measure that length AC and the length BC this is the length BC produce AC we have to produce that line uh, to point uh, to A dash A dash and B dash this is B dash respectively so that A C A dash is equal to AC and C B dash is equal to BC by measuring the length B dash A dash we will be able to find the AB when we measure that length we can to find that length easily why is this so in this question not any side is given to us uh, just like that not any side is given to us that this is 10 centimeter 2 centimeter let's suppose uh, we have to prove that that this line a b is equal to the a dash b dash when we prove it that the both lines are equal we prove uh, we find the length of the a b because we can find the length a dash b dash we have to find the length AB and for this we have to prove that the both triangles are similar when we prove that the both triangles are similar then it means that this length is equal to that length we can see in this diagram that the length AC is equal to the length CA dash it is given to us this length and BC is, is equal to the B C B dash it is also given in the diagram and this is the angle this is the vertical opposite angle and this angle is also equal and hence the triangle are, are similar to each other because the side angle side test is applied on it and this prove that this line is equal to the this line we have to do this in our answer now a is equivalent to a dash and b is b dash and c is c a c is equal to a dash c this is given to us and BC is equal to B dash C this is also given to us and angle A C B is equal to angle B dash C dash A dash this is vertically opposite angles and therefore the triangles ABC is equivalent to the triangle A dash B dash C because of which test side angle side and hence AB is equal to A dash B dash now students we have to prove that the length is fine is equal to that length and we cannot measure it in this question this length directly when we measure that length it means this is equal to the this length and we have to do only this part to prove that the triangle are similar and the sides are equal to each other we solve this question and now students see question number one is done question number two to measure the width of the internal truck AB of a machine tool which cannot be measured directly this is the internal part we cannot measure it directly 
we make use of a device as shown in the diagram this is the device this device the device is made up of two parts there are two parts of this device one is a dash a and a dash and second one is b and b dash hinge halfway at o they are together at the halfway at o by measuring the distance between a and a dash we can measure that distance we can't measure that distance but we can measure that distance we will be able to may obtain a and b we have to obtain that side why is this so uh, it means that how we can find that well, now since we can make the, the two triangles these are the triangles you can see these are the two triangles and when we make this triangle these are uh, we can measure the uh, when we measure that side we can easily measure that side it means that the a dash b dash is equal to a and b now in this question we have to prove that the a b dash is equal to the a and b so we can find that length and uh, same which we done in the question number one we have to prove in it let's see that this is the a we may i am making the triangles there a b this one is o a dash and b dash a is a a and b dash b is equal to b dash and o is equal to o nice now students we have to read in the a, in this question that the device is made up of two parts a and a dash and b and b dash and this is the hinged half away that the distance is equal this equal to this equal this equal to this equal since a and a dash and b and b dash are hinged halfway at o then we can write it easily oa is equal to oa dash and ob is equal to ob dash the two sides are equal and we can observe that this is the vertical opposite angle this is the vertical opposite angle and this angle is also equal so we can write it uh, that the angle aob is equal to the angle a dash o b these are why they are equal because this is the vertical opposite angles now we prove that the side angle side are equal and that's why the both triangles are equal therefore triangle a o b is equal to triangle a dash o dash b if the triangles are equal these are the similar because of the side angle side uh, now we can write easily that the a dash ab is equal to a dash b dash and now students this is the proof that when we find the length a that the length a b is equal now since this is a proof that the length a b is equal to a dash b dash if we find that length we can find it easily that's why we have to do it we have to prove that the both triangles are that the both distances are equal and we have to measure it and now students see question number two is done now students question number three the figure show a tree sr and a pole qr this is the sr and the pole is q pq casting a shade of length 30 meter and 15 meter the shade of the tree is 30 meter and the shade of this pole is 15 meter respectively if the length of the pole is 4 meter this 4 meter find the height of the tree we have to find that the tree 
we know that that the ratio of the corresponding side of the triangles are equal and we have to apply there the ratio of the corresponding side of the triangle then we find that length there are the two triangle one triangle is sqo and the second triangle is pqo now the ratios of these both triangles uh, corresponding sides of the ratio of the both triangles are equal and from which we have to find that length as r the the triangle as or as or is similar to triangle uh, poq if the both triangles are similar then now if the triangles are similar we can write it the corresponding sides ratio of the corresponding side the sq over pq we can write it sq sr sr over pq is equal to the or is equal to the or over oq or over oq these are the ratio of the corresponding sides of the triangles and all the three values are given to us which was those lengths which whose values are given to us and uh, these uh, values are three values are given to us and we have to find the sr now we write their values sr we have to find pq is equal to 4 cm this is 30 and 15 and now i have to cross multiply it sr 30 multiply by 4 over 15 15 one times and two times and we get 8 meters hence the height of the tree is 8 meter we have to find that height and now students see question number 3 is soft now students see questions of the basic level are finished and I, I hope you understand these questions very well thank you very much students for watching my videos take care of yourself Allah Hafiz